All right, so a little different, more of an informative video here today. One thing that a lot of people don't know, and this come up in the group, is what is DSP? What are the different types of decompressions that chainsaws come with? And I don't have all of them, such as one that has a Q port, but I'll talk about that here in a bit. I'm going to show you the types that there are and that one, and some of the saws that I've got with them but not limited to just these ones that I have. I've got others in the garage that have the same systems on. So, what's first? We have what's called the safety start system on this. And what it is on the 710 here, this is a manual de-stroke port, safety start, whatever you want to call it. What does it do? You notice how the saw right here, you can hold it because it's got that much compression. So when you try to pull it, you're literally, it, it's just not worth trying to pull like that. So, this has a manual one on it. And what you do with this, hopefully you guys can see this. You press down and forward. That activates the manual decompression right here. What that does is it allows some of the combustion pressure, the, uh, not combustion pressures, but the cylinder pressure to escape some of it out through a little hole that is plugged and out to the atmosphere. And what that does is part of it escapes and allows you to be able to easily pull this over. No, it sounds like crap. I gotta get that. But it allows you to easily pull. After your saw has started, you just push back and it runs normally. And it's back to full compression to be able to run. That's a manual decompression. Many saws came with that system before it went to the automatic one, which I'll get to the automatic button here in a bit too. Another another type of manual decompression was what's, what you can see on the 795 here. You can tell it's not the easiest to pull over with it. But this is a thumb activated lever opens up a port with a plunger valve. You can pull that over and a fire right up and everything, make it easier. And once it's running, you just push that back down. This is another type of manual DSP. The McCullough CP125 has the same kind as the 795, the 797 and everything, but it has a trigger style that you use your finger. You can see that. Hopefully you can. And what it is, when you go to start it, you're not pulling this over. Let's face it. You walk around all day with the big old yo-yo. That ain't gonna yo-yo for you. Alright? So much compression she's got. And this all weighs over 20 pounds. I'd say around 20 pounds. Activate the DSP by pushing over and letting it go. And even then, it still has a significant amount of compression, but you notice how I can pull it. When it starts, you just push that back, and she's got her full compression and ready to run. Now, automatic types are the push buttons. You still have to manually push it, but it turns itself off after the stall starts and fires up. The McCullough SP, or Super Pro 81, not only limited to this, other models had too, have a button right here. You just press that button in, and that's it. Because with it, when it pulled out, you're just going to be holding the saw all day. I mean, this, that saw is just a tremendous amount of compression. You're not pulling that over. You press that button, and it makes life easier. And when the saw fires up, it put the, com the combustion pressure, just pushes that button right out for you, and it's ready to go. And if it doesn't fire over, but it puffs or something, be sure you check that button and push it, or else you probably end up punching yourself. In my Racing 101B here, it was an option to have a button put onto it. Some guys would put it in the center of the head like I did, or offset it, or even put it through the cylinder wall. This all has enough compression 
so that when you press this button and you pull it fast enough, it pushes that button out for me. So every time I want to try and start it, I gotta press it. And uh, I mean, it's got some stellar compression. That's it. It did it right there. So this saw is very difficult to try and start sometimes. You gotta, I gotta get the timing looked at and everything, or maybe it's just me. But you see how easy I can pull that. But it doesn't start by pulling that slow. So but once it fires over, it just trips that, and it just runs as it should. Because it has a removable head, you can't just go through the cylinder wall up and through the top of the head. They had to drill them. Some of the models had it of decompression on the back side to where you pushed it. But not having one of those, I really can't exactly see how it was. So that's the startup on that on that procedure and everything. This one really takes a lot to to try and start. And there's some guys that'll pull them without. Now one chainsaw I don't have that has it's pretty much it's completely automatic decompression. You don't push a button or nothing. It's like on the McCullough Pro Mac 800. It has what's called a Q port, and it's based off the exhaust design. So when you pull it over normally, it's a decompression, but running doesn't affect its ability to run whatsoever. So you know there was just a little discussion on what is the SPD stroke port. Um, what was the other name for that? Also, uh, has other. It goes by other names and everything. Uh, decrease string pull stuff like that. So this is just a quick video, just showing the differences of what they are. They all do the same thing, but there's just different styles of them. So I hope this was informative to somebody. And uh, I say, thanks for watching.